Oh my god everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be learning a lot and we're going to be improving our math skills. Before we continue with the video guys, it's very important to me and for the Oh my god community for it to grow. If you hit that like button, that subscribe button and don't forget to share with your friends. Also, don't forget to turn on your notifications. Um, let's begin. Oh my god. Hello guys, welcome to today's video about the protractor postulate. Let's begin. So guys, we're going to begin by defining, of course, what the protractor postulate says. Um, given the ray BA and a point C not on the ray BA, a unique real number from 0 to 180 can be assigned to BC. 0 is assigned to BA and 180 to BB. Now guys, it's pretty logical, but basically it says that when we have a ray, in this case BA, um, and we have a point C, which is this one, and it's not um, in the, it's not included in BA, what you can do is that you can assign real numbers to that um, ray. So in this case, BC can be assigned a number almost 50. So let's say it can be assigned a number like 49, right? And that is actually going to be helping us in order to find out some angles. And after that, we're going to be using the addition postulate for angles in order to understand how to solve it. But for now, we're just going to be using the protractor postulate. So the problem here says, use the protractor postulate to solve the following problem. What is the measure of angle AEC, which is this angle right here? And what is the, uh, the measurement of angle BED, which is this angle right here. First, let's try doing AEC. So what is the measurement of angle AEC? The first thing we can see is that the ray EC, we can assign it a value, a real number value, because of the protractor postulate. And we can assign it the value of 105, correct? Now, because we have 105 here, and we can we know that EA has a value of zero, what we can do is that the measurement of angle AEC is going to have a value of 105 minus zero, which is going to be a value of 105 degrees, because, of, again, of the protractor postulate. Now, what is the measurement of BED? Now, in the case of BED, we're not starting at zero, so we cannot do the subtraction by zero again. But there's something that we can do. We can assign EB, the ray EB, with a real number as well. So EB can be assigned with a value of approximately 46, right? Because it's a little bit after the 45 line. So EB, the ray EB, is 46. Now, we know that the measurement of angle AEB is also going to be of 46 degrees because when you subtract 46 minus the ray EA, which is zero degrees, that is going to give you 46, correct? Now, we also know that ED, we can assign that, that ray ED, we can assign it with a value of 130, right? And when we subtract the value of EA, which is zero, we know that the measurement of angle AED is going to be of an angle of 130 degrees, correct? Now, what we have here is basically, we have all this angle here, right? And we have the whole thing, so we have the whole angle. But we just want the difference. 
So we just want this thing right here. So in order to get that, we're just going to subtract. So the measurement of angle BED is going to be the measurement of angle, of course, AED minus the measurement of angle AEB, which is going to be 130 degrees minus 46 degrees. And that is going to give us an answer of 84 degrees. And that is going to be our answer. So that's it pretty much, guys. Remember, you have to assign values to the rays that are not um, the 0 degrees and the 180 degrees. That way you find the angles. And then you just subtract in order to get the angles that you need, right? So in the first example with AEC, AEC, we just assign the value to the ray EC and when you we subtract by zero then with BED what we did was that we had to take BE and DE and we just subtract those two and that's pretty much it so guys feel free to redo them practice because you know that practicing is key and I'll see you guys on the next one I'll see you guys bye Check out these other videos to improve your math skills and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts, drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye!